Aha, here we go against Mr. Odegas. He's got 2,600. That's good news. The higher the rating, the better. Yeah, let's see if he his plays as usual stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll play my usual stuff. Don't, don't mind that position here much. It's very equalish, but if you draw against 2600, it's okay. So, probably here. Queen d4. Yeah, it's a typical boring position you get against him every time. Let's just make sure not to screw up something and see that we can make a draw here. I know that's a bit a bit cynical, but this is uh, this is what it is. He always plays like that. So what to do? Let's get this into the game. Main, main thing here is to stay, um, to not fall behind on the clock. This is very important. Um, yeah. Maybe this one. Well, you have to be alert. Yeah, he's always uh, trying. He is trying little things. It's not like he's shuffling around uh, and not doing anything ever. If you do something stupid, yeah, he he will um, try try things. Check. Yeah. So we got this this ending. Not much going on. What am I doing here? Mm, there's something that I can try, let's say. Yeah, probably not, yeah. I mean, he's got the isolated pawn, but there is um, a very little uh, to be done here. Cannot uh, put any pressure, let's say, on that pawn. That's not, not happening. Is it drawing a5 and b4 maybe? Yeah, that's that's possible. That's actually possible. Mm, I have to be cautious a bit, not to be too passive here, yeah? which sometimes happens. Yeah? If you have a position that is basically, yeah, when nothing happens, you can easily get into a, a mode that is too passive and uh, don't want that I don't want that here hmm a4 there's b4 b4 there's a4 yeah I'm not playing this well I've gi I've given him I've given in some some hopes here, definitely. Okay, I don't want to play rook c2 in the first place. Check. Okay, let's push him a little bit back here. Yeah, the easiest is probably to just stay here. Mm 
Yeah, he didn't play that well. He's got something. Absolutely. I mean, probably not for real, but he can pretend to do things. Draw offered. Oh, wow. Game draw. That doesn't happen too often. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I just, um, I'm just okay with gaining a couple of points and playing the super dull positions. Um, the thing is, um, in order to beat him, I, I need to play sharper, that's totally clear, but I really don't know exactly how to do it against his kind of opening repertoire. I tried the odd wacky stuff, but it, it didn't work out. <laughs> Simply, it didn't work out. So, um, yeah, what I'm trying to do is uh, to play his... To just play his game and, uh, and to make make those draws just by playing solidly, um, doing nothing basically, which is a winning play in terms of points. It really is. I am currently the statistics on ICC are not working, but I've drawn the vast majority of the recent games, and uh, and um, I won. I think one game, even. Check. So um. I'm I'm definitely gaining points with this kind of play. It is uh, a little bit cynical, but it, it yeah. Check. I really don't know what else to do to be honest. Yeah, I mean I could theoretically speaking um, prepare against his um, against his openings and try to uh, work out something um, to get active aggressive play against his repertoire. But <laughs> I mean really, if I've got time to work on stuff. For my own chess, yeah, I'm not going to do it to invest. Uh, I'm not investing it in in opening repertoire against Olegas. <laughs> yeah, anyway, it was a correct draw, and um, I'm I'm reasonably okay with that. Thanks for watching.